Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our ACA orientation. I am Mrs. Enix, and I'm the head of the Developmental Education Department, and we're so glad that you all could join us today. Uh, in the introduction of your math, Becoming a Master Student book says that you need to connect with the resources, and that's what this session is all about, to help you connect with the resources that we have here on campus. Uh, you have a gold packet that's going to list some of the um, resources, but we're going to have folks also here to talk to you about what they do and how they can help you. I will tell you, if you look on your gold sheet where it says Student Services Dean, I need for you to make a correction, please. We have had a lot of personnel changes and it's kind of hard to keep up sometimes. But our new um, Vice President of Student Services is Mr. Rick Anderson. Uh, Dr. Tansy, who is our president, and Dr. Ainge, who is our vice president of academics, are in Raleigh today and were unable to join us, and they send their regrets that they couldn't be here to talk to you. But Mr. Anderson is here, and he would like to say a few words. Good afternoon. Uh, looking around, we've got a good turnout here. I, I recognize several faces here, uh, but I just want to reiterate uh, what Ms. Enix has said want to welcome you and, and hope that you are able to hear a lot of good information today so that you can connect some faces and some names and, and know where resources are available to you here on the, camp, on the college campus. Uh, as Ms. Enix said, I'm Rick Anderson, Vice President of Student Services. I uh, want to just let you know that, that uh, the phone number that is on there is incorrect, so if you've got something to write with, my phone number uh, to my office is 9406417. And I am located in Building 1, Office uh, 101B. Uh, Dr. Ainge and I are right there in the same little office suite together. But uh, I'm the person that you will come to see if uh, you have some type of a, an issue after you finish the semester and you receive your grade and, and it's not quite, uh, you and the instructor are, are not quite uh, seeing eye to eye on, on the grade that you were given and you're not quite sure of that. There is a protocol that you have to go through with going and seeing the instructor first and if they're not able to work through the problem with you, then you'll go to the dean uh, and, and work through that problem with them and if, if they're unable to help you with the situation, then it will come to me and uh, my job is to set up what is called a student appeal committee uh, and that is a committee that's made up of two faculty members, two staff members, two students uh, to hear whatever grievance it is that you have. You'll have an opportunity to state your case and uh, then that committee makes the decision or recommendation as to, to what the outcome should be. Uh, but that's, that's in a nutshell what I do. A lot of the folks that you're getting ready to hear from uh, are in my area as well and, and I will say this, they are great people. I've been here a month and a half and found them to be uh, some of the hardest working, most accommodating folks that, that I've had the opportunity to work with. So uh, I think that you've made a great choice in coming to BCC. I wish you all the best and if there's anything that I or any of the folks that you're going to hear from can do, please uh, please do come and see us. Uh, we'll, we'll do everything in our power to make you uh, your opportunity here as successful as possible. So thank you. Thank you very much. Everybody take a look around just a minute. The greatest resource that you're really going to find on this campus are the other students. So we have some of our master students from previous semesters who are going to talk to you a little bit about what they learned in ACA and how that's helped them uh, to succeed here on campus. And it's my honor uh, to introduce our first master student speaker, and that is Mr. Tony Padilla, who's going to talk to you a little bit about what he learned in ACA. Hello, good afternoon. Um, first thing I'd like to tell everybody is you're already making it. You hear? You're making it. You just got to stick with it. I learned take, take the class series, the ACA class series that helps you out with computers. When you don't really know what you can do, what you're doing, you can always go to the ASC lab, and they they help you out. Like she said, the biggest thing is 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 everybody. Go to your partner here, here, there. You can do it. I can do it. It's, it's been 13 years since I've been in school, and I I was really really nervous with four kids coming back to school. I ain't been in school in forever. Sure, I'm doing it. I got a 3.0 GPA, and 
I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I'm still doing it. This is my third semester. Just try to stick together. Everybody work together. Do what you guys do. It's not. It's really not that bad if you put your mind to it. Right. Thank you. Okay, I want to introduce some of our developmental instructors that we have here. Um, developmental reading and English, um, which are our new DRE courses here on campus. We have an 096, 097, and 098. So you may be in one of those, or you may be in one of our DMA um, courses, or um, again, ACA. So we're going to introduce some of the instructors. We're going to have them come up and just introduce themselves, and if you will let everyone know what you teach. Um, is Jill here? She wasn't able to make it. Okay, all right. Jill High, um, Renee Bass Knight, she is one of our night instructors, so therefore she's not here. Uh, Dale Enix, Donna Parker, Kate Moore, Beth Casey, and I don't think Wanda Woolard is here. And then myself, Dana Sauls. I am Dale Enix. I am uh, teaching the DRE 096 this semester. I'm Donna Parker. I'm teaching two ACAs and the DRE 098. I'm Beth Casey and I'm teaching ACA 118 and DRE 098. I'm Kate Moore and I'm teaching ACA 118 and DRE 098. And I'm Dana Siles and I teach DRE 097. And for our developmental math, um, I have names here, and I'm afraid if I call them out, I made more mistakes. So I'm going to call uh, Kimberly Mullis up. She's our uh, DMA expert, and then she can let you know who all of her instructors are. And I think she has a couple with her. Hi, my name is Kimberly Mullis, and I'm lead instructor for math here at the college. Our department works collectively to provide instruction in um, developmental and curriculum level instruction. So uh, when you come to us, it's the full package. You'll get your developmental math and then move on to your curriculum level courses. We have a few instructors here today. We have Tyler Leeser. Tyler, if you'll stand. I'm going to make you stand up since I had to stand. And Zach Matthews. Oh, they need to come forward. Okay, so you need to not only stand, but please come forward. Okay, and Regina Price. And Judy Winslow is here. Oh, Kay Hauser. Okay, and so we all work together. So rather than everyone come up and say what they teach, there are eight developmental math modules, DMA 10 through DMA 80, and so you'll meet um, one or all of us along your journey. <laughs> Thank you, Kimberly. We have you come up because... James is videotaping for us for our ACA night uh, courses so they can actually watch this at night. Um, the next person I want to introduce is uh, James Casey. He's the coordinator of the Academic Support Center. Uh, hopefully everyone's had a chance to go visit. If not, he's going to tell you a little bit about it. Good afternoon. I am James Casey, I'm coordinator of the Academic Support Center. Um, I do know that many of you have been in already. Some of you are regular fixtures already. <laughs> Uh, but we're always glad to have uh, as many of you come in as possible. Um, we are there to provide additional assistance outside of your courses, whether it be with ACA or your DRE courses or even your developmental math courses. Um, I'm available throughout the day. We open at 7.30 every morning and we are, you know, drop-in service. You can walk in anytime during the day with questions that you may have or whatever assistance that you may need. Um, this semester we do have a new assistant who is uh, Courtney Howard. She's over handling everything right now in my absence. Um, so I encourage you to uh, work with her as well. She uh, has a background in psychology, uh, also very good with biology, and she does a lot of math for us as well. So um, please take advantage of her skills. Uh, we do also have instructors who are scheduled for various times throughout the week. Um, there is a schedule posted by the door. Um, it's also available on the website if you'd like to look into that. Um, we have some DRE instructors and developmental math instructors who are available that you can drop in and work with um, during those time periods. Um, we do offer assistance with technology as well, with computers if you're having difficulty with your Blackboard account, um, 
If you need to know how to type up a Word document, if you need help with student email, we are available for that as well. Um, one thing that you will need to do, um, most of you have probably already received a referral from your instructor. You want to make sure you bring that in when you come in the first time to work. Um, and I'll show you how to do the, the sign in, set up right by the door. It's a simple process, ideally. Um, we try to do a little bit of everything in the Academic Support Center, so please stop in and let me know what I can do to help. All right, thank you. Uh, next, within our developmental department, we offer reading tutors. Uh, we have two this semester, Claire Darrow and Judy Bailey. And of course, Claire is over there tutoring, but we do have Judy, and she's going to come up and just tell you a little bit about the tutoring. If you have difficulty, feel free to drop by. One of us will be there from 8 until 1 daily. That's Monday through Friday. Uh, even if you can't come at your scheduled time, let us know. You can always check in because we have cancellations. So if you're having a problem and it's maybe not an ongoing thing, still stop by because we, wanna, we want to be helpful and we want to earn our keep. So please show up if you have a problem. Uh, we are in room 103, I mean, I'm sorry, 113, which is uh, listed there on your handout. And um, one of us will be there. It might not be the one with whom you signed up, but someone will be there to help you. So please take advantage of this opportunity. Thank you. And next, I would like to introduce our next master student, Tammy Turner. Um, during my first semester here on ACA, I have learned to do time management. I have learned that within six hours I'm here to do my courses and to do as much studying and my schoolwork that I can because when I get home I don't have the time. So but my second thing I've learned was to say no. When I get home, it is okay to say no. It's okay to let them know that I cannot do it because I have homework. I, I myself have three children and a husband, and it's always mom this, mama that. Well, I would say no to go somewhere else, and you'd be fine, and you'd be able to do my homework. So time management and learning to say no is okay to do. So that's what I've learned during the time I've been here. Thank you. I need to take some lessons from Tammy. <laughs> Um, again, I'm Beth Casey, and I'm going to ask you for a moment if you'll take that orange sheet back out. Um, all of our ACA students pay particular attention to the orange, yellow sheet, goldenrod, whatever color it is. Um, the campus resources test that becomes active for my students with online number two. Oh, your answers are all here, guys, okay? So really pay particular attention. Um, I believe we stopped at the bottom of the front side. Did you get through financial aid? Skip it over and go on to Joan, right? Okay, all right. I don't believe, there's Ms. Robson. May I call Ms. Robson to come to the front for a moment? Joan Robson is the coordinator of our special populations um, office. Hi, everybody, I'm Joan Robson. I am special populations, and um, my office is over in building nine, room 927A. If anybody has a documented disability that um, requires um, accommodations to access their classwork, that's what I'm there for, to help you out. So um, the one thing I just want to let you know is college level, um, students have to disclose that they have the need for accommodations. You'd have to come see me in order for us to provide you with those accommodations, okay? A little bit different than high school where you pretty much uh, have someone who's there to make sure that they meet specific goals and objectives on your behalf. You're going to have to come and self-disclose, and I can do what I can for you in terms of providing whatever accommodations are reasonable for you. Okay? Thanks. Good luck. Um, next, we'll be calling up um, three individuals from our counseling department. We've got um, new on board, Caroline Hill, um, a familiar face, Kimberly Jackson, and also we're going to... Okay, just these two ladies. I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Carolyn Hill. <laughs> and I'm Kimberly Jackson. I'm the Director of Counseling. And together, we want to provide you with great service here on the campus. We absolutely may be a great first stop for you to come and explore options. You can come ask whatever questions you have. We may not have all the answers, but we'll definitely point you in the right direction and possibly, probably, walk you there to make sure you get that, whatever you need. 
We may have met many of you during placement testing because we take care of placement testing, but we also provide personal counseling. For example, um, coping with life events or if you're feeling overwhelmed in your classes, or career counseling, helping you kind of tie in what you're doing right now to how it relates to your career. Or with academic counseling, we'll sit down with you with your course of study, your program, look at the courses and help you design a plan to get those courses taken care of. Or if you're thinking about transferring to a four-year college university, we'll help you with that part as well. So we really are kind of a, a one-stop shop, you know, to kind of point you in the right, right direction or to help you. Um, if you want to come and see us, Please use the numbers that are on here to make an appointment, or if it's urgent, stop by. We'll definitely, you know, work you in or, or see you as needed if, if you need any immediate assistance. One thing I wanted to correct is that Ms. Bridger's phone number on there, if you have something to write with, her number is 940-6221. And it's listed there that Ms. Hill and I see um, developmental students. We truly work with all students on the campus. So even long after you've finished taking developmental courses, um, still come to us. We'll help you reach your goals. Okay. Thank you. Um, next, I'd like to invite Teresa Edwards to come up and uh, speak to us about um, student activities. Hello. I provided you with a little blue sheet in there. It's got some important information in it about the information that goes on here on campus activities, special dates. Um, I am located in Building 9, room 918. Also, I consider myself a go-to person if you have anything that you're just wondering. If, if you're not, not sure where you need to go and who you need to see, I'm always a good resource to come see. Um, I might not point you in the right direction, but I really will give it my best. As I look over the crowd, I see there's a lot of older students or returning students coming back to school, and um, I was one of you. I also was a master student. The one thing I did remember and that I still use today is the resources that are available here on campus. Don't ever take it for granted. They're not going to come look in you because they don't know you have a need. You need to go to them. Mr. Casey, I probably worried him more than anybody in here in this world. I come back to school after 32 years, I didn't even know how to cut on that darn computer. <laughs> didn't know anything about it. And he, when he was up here a while ago talking about what he would do to help you, he is telling you the God's honest truth. And the one thing he did show me was patience. I may have remembered it time he showed it to me, but time I walked away, I had forgotten it again. But he always took that special time with me. So I encourage you, anyone that's told you what they want to do to help you, they're serious and they mean it because they want you to be successful here on this campus. But like I said, I am in charge of student activities here on campus and if you would like to get involved with me, just stop by my office and talk. Everybody in here knows when you go to these instructors, you're going to learn all that book sense you need, but you can be, I can use some common sense. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Teresa Edwards. Um, next, we're going to invite up uh, um, Dorothy Jordan from Student Student um, Support Services. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Beaufort County Community College. Um, I'm Dorothy Jordan, Director of Student Support Services, the Trio Program here on campus. And in your packet, um, I think there are different colors, but it says Trio, and there's a little lighthouse on the front of the brochure that describes our program. Um, we serve a small group of, well not small, but a, a, a good sized group of students here on campus by providing some additional services that empower you to be the most successful student that you can be. We offer, as you can see, a variety of services including tutoring and access to um, computers in our lab. Um, we offer assistance with academics, um, financial aid, financial literacy, um, workshops that we offer that enhance what you learn in ACA. By going a little bit more, you know, in ACA you, get, you learn about study skills, and then as you get into your second or third semester, it's like, whoa, I need a refresher. So we offer some workshops that help with that, some personal development workshops, some opportunities to help you broaden your horizons through leadership development. We've taken some students on um, leadership to leadership conferences. Um, we offer them the opportunity um, to, to practice those skills. Um, we've had various and sundry 
um, workshops in the past. This year we're planning some new and exciting things, hopefully. Um, with budget cuts, we're going to do the best we can. Um, in the past, we've um, even done an etiquette class where we took a group of students to a restaurant in town and they actually practiced eating the proper way because we want to prepare you for what's out there for you, which is the world that, that's, that's unbelievable. All the opportunities that are available to you. Um, we offer um, access to computer technology. We have a, some laptops that we can loan to our students on a short-term basis. We have um, calculators uh, as well as digital recorders um, that we can loan to you for recording um, lectures in classes or recording notes or, or as you learn about study skills to rehearse your notes and, and play them back. We also just purchased, haven't um, really tried them out, trying to figure out what to do with them, um, some smart pens um, that we're going to allow our tutors to use with our students as well as our students to use in the classrooms. We're, I'm going to have to try those out. But the smart pen, it's a, it's a wonderful technology that I, I saw and I'm hope, hoping and talk with maybe Ms. Enix and um, Ms. Mullis and we'll figure out how we can make that work um, as best for you guys. Um, we also are hopefully going to get some tablets that we can also offer for our students to use. Um, we offer transfer assistance um, for going to a four-year school. We do campus visits, take students to um, various and sundry schools um, in North Carolina usually. Um, just so you get an opportunity to see what the four-year campus is like and actually talk to people in admissions or if you know your area of study, to actually talk with the deans of those departments or advisors in those departments just to get a feel. Um, if there are some other opportunities that students would like, we try to help with community service opportunities. Um, last year we took a group of students. Um, at the end of the year we went to Washington, D.C. for one day tour and had an opportunity to go to the Capitol. We went to the King Memorial, drove by the White House, um, um, did the Smithsonian, um, drove by the Pentagon, had a wonderful time. The students enjoyed it, learned a lot. Um, one of the good things too, we have a lab, as you see, over in Building 1, um, Room 120. Um, that's where most of our tutoring takes place. We have some cute computers there. One of the beautiful things about our lab is our students help each other. Um, you know, as, as, as Ms. Edwards said, some of you are non-traditional students who come and you, and I've had several come by and say, I really don't know how to do anything with the computer. Well, it's a beautiful thing when I see the students in there helping each other, um, encouraging each other, and that's the atmosphere we like to have in student support services. So there's an application that you need to complete to be a participant, but by all means come by and we'll be happy to serve you. Take care. Thank you, Ms. Jordan. Next, I'm going to invite Ms. Sandy, Mrs. Sandy McFadden up from the Career Center, please. Uh, good afternoon. I'm one of the five Amigas that are back in the back in student, support, in student services. And between the five of us, if we can't answer your question or get you where you need to go, I don't know where else for them to go. Do you, Ms. Teresa? <laughs> uh, I'm Sandra McFadden. I am your director of the Career Center, and it has taken us, I guess, maybe five years with me putting on my assessment every year, we need a career center, we need a real career center, and they had me what I called a career closet <laughs> in 914, 915, which is a joint office, but I am in room 921, and the lab is in 920. My handout is the blue one that I didn't fold, but it has a picture of the lab, and it is a great place to start. Hopefully that aspect of what we offer here on the college will grow. We have three computers in there. We have the job board is now in there. And my office is right beside it so I can assist you in anything that you need um, as far as employment, you can do job online application, and I am in the next room to help you if you have a problem. Also, um, you will see these little yellow things. They're not in your handouts, but they're on the table back there. And it says, complete your resume in the lab. We want you to come to the lab. Some of you have already been there. I recognize some faces already that have come by to see me to do the career key. That is just one source of an assessment to see if you fit well into the program of study that you're in. 
And over the years, I probably hit uh, at least a 99 point something record on probably getting students where they need to be on our college. Also, Ms. Jackson, who was just here, if I see you want to transfer and that's what you really want to do, I will work with her and she will help you in that process too. So I will refer you. This is for 50 bucks. This is a $50 little yellow card, paper card, that if you complete a resume by the end of the year, approved by me, now you can use your writing center if you want to. We haven't mentioned that. Are they gonna mention the writing center? Okay. Anyway, you can use other sources to get it together, but come see me and I will guide you through that process. And you have the lab right next to us where I've already started working with students. We'll come in and then on your own, work on it, but make an appointment. And when you complete that, that goes into a drawing for $50. I think an extra 50 bucks at Christmas would be well worth it, don't you think? Also, I wear many hats. That is my primary job, is helping you with assessment, um, making sure you're in the right program of study, helping you to exit, do the job fair, and all kinds of other things related to the career aspect. But I also do the monitors. How many of you have seen the monitors in the buildings? Oh, please, don't tell me you haven't seen them. The big monitors. Yes, the monitors, the big monitors in the lobbies and stuff. Yes. The big screens that tell you what's going on on campus. No wonder nobody knows what's going on. <laughs> the monitors are great. Like when you walk out of here, there's one up here, there's one in building one, there's one in the cafe in building five, there's two in building nine. Well, I try really hard to keep current information on there. You should be watching those. If something's old, I'm going to take it off. So that's one of my other hats that I wear. I also teach ACA online, and I have two classes, 20 and 21. So some of the students may be coming to me. Most of those students don't necessarily live far away, but also attend classes here on campus. So if you have an issue with it, please come by and see me. Okay, and the other, how many have seen the catalog in our web, on our website? That's much better. Okay, well, I'm the one that keeps the catalog going. That was one of my new jobs. And it is an endless job, and, but I want to thank the students because we have found some simple mistakes through them seeing it. There's 367 pages, and that's a lot for me to have to, every time I make a change, to go through it every time to make sure it doesn't create another problem somewhere, like Ms. Mullison is what we're talking about. And we go back in there. You'll also see a date update at the very front that tells you when it was updated last. So I want to thank students that have seen in little bits and pieces of information to help us keep that current. And I am not, according to this, Unfortunately, I am not doing the co-op. Steve Smith is your contact. He is part-time adjunct faculty. He's located in building two, business building two. two I believe he's in there. No, or he's in building four. Does anybody know? No. Okay. Well, call me if you um, are interested in co-op and I'll direct you to the right person. There are programs that do co-op experiences here on campus and Steve Smith is your co-op coordinator and I want to wish you all the very best and um, this semester and I hope I see everyone because I've seen some of you already. Thank you so much for inviting me. I was so busy tooting Mr. Casey's horn I forgot to toot my own. <laughs> um, I also am student government and student government here on campus is really important. We do all of the activities here. That's why I always, I, I usually wear a pair of knee pads soon because I start begging. Um, we have our meetings the first Tuesday in every month. They're always in the student lounge. There's one going on now as we speak. I hope that you guys will attend these meetings. These meetings will let you know what's going on on campus. Um, if there's anything that we need to have discussed, it's a time for you. If you have a concern, 
to come and, and voice your opinion because you are part of student government. You are the government that, that is here. So if there is any questions or concerns that any of you have, please feel free to stop by my office. I have an open door policy. I'm usually easily found. If I'm not easy to find, I'm easy to be heard. So you, if you don't see me look, listen for me because my mouth is usually somewhere. But I thank you and good luck with this. Okay, I do want to mention that there is a section on the back of the yellow uh, goldenrod sheet pertaining to the library. Each ACA class will be visiting the library and the media graphics lab downstairs in the um, um, building five in the coming weeks, so I won't spend any time there. Um, you've already gotten acquainted with the bookstore, but here are the names of the individuals there that you should know in the event that you need them for later. Um, next, I have the distinct pleasure of introducing one of my students and a former ACA student and master student, Mr. James Porter. Good afternoon, everybody. A little feedback, please. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Um, I'd just like to say to the students, welcome to y'all. And uh, ACA was a great experience for myself. I'm one of those older uh, folk that came back to school due to the, this great economy that we're living through right now. But I look at it as a good thing. It gave me an opportunity to get that, that brain working again. And it's been, it's been pretty good so far. This is my second semester, and I'm excited. Because of my instructor, ACA Ms. Enix, I now have the tools that I need to be successful at the college level. There again, it's very different than it was for those of you that are just out of high school. Uh, and I don't want to say that the instructors don't care, but a lot of the effort, a lot of the payoff is due to what you do. You know, the instructor's gonna make sure that you have what you need, but then the extra effort has to come from each and every one of us, each and every one of you as a student. Uh, it's a doable thing. Uh, there again, going being a part of that class has, has helped me understand that the assistance that is needed is definitely here all the different people that are around that are very helpful. Uh, I've gotten really close to Mr. Casey in his lab. It is definitely a plus. Uh, and there again, you know, don't be, don't be shy. You know, kind of open up, talk to the people to your left and your right. We're all in this, this together. And I think that's a very important part of it, being successful. The fact that most of us do have the same goal, and that's to get a good grade, you know, at the end of your, of your semester. So there again, you know, don't be shy about asking someone for help. Don't be shy about exchanging a phone number. And uh, just put your foot to the pedal and move forward. That's what it's about at this level of education. Uh, thank you for your time. And, and by the way, if you see me around campus, if anything I can do to help, the direction I can point you in, don't be you know, hesitant about grabbing me and, and asking me a question or two. Thank you very much, and everybody be successful. Okay, so again, I'm Kate Moore, and we are all here because we want you to succeed. We want you to do well. So what we've done is we've put together a student survival kit for you, and I'm going to share with you what's in the student survival kit. These are some things that we hope will help you survive this semester and to have a very successful and um, fun, fun year. So the first thing you'll see in your student survival kit is a piece of gum to help you to stick with your studies. <laughs> then you'll see a rubber band to help to remind you to be flexible with when things don't go your way. Or I guess you could um, use them to like maybe pop somebody if they, <laughs> if they get in your way. So you'll see a lollipop to help you lift your problems or at least make them taste a little bit better. A cotton ball to cushion the rough roads ahead. A mint to give you energy for those late nights of studying. A paper clip to help you hold things together. And the most important part probably, I think, is a little confetti to help you remember to schedule the fun times as along with your, your studying time. So we thank you all for coming and being here and we wish you a very successful semester. Thank you.